Well, good morning. It's time for the morning update. But what do you think? Start with, start with some coffee? Me too. <laughs> All right, there we go. So happy Monday and happy uh, week after the of July holiday, um, if you're in the U.S. anyway. Um, it's been it's been interesting. Let's put it that way. I, uh, I I went for a while that I wasn't doing any projects because of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and uh, it was really a great game, I have to say. Um, it's one of those games that you just you keep playing and then. When you beat it, you're just like, what do I do with my life now? <laughs> um, and trying to get back into like other games is harder because, you know, it's just not the same. Just, it was a really cool experience. So, um, but I did get into, I did jump back into some projects when I beat it. And so my latest that I'm working on right now is a Supergirl 2-2. You've probably seen some of the photos on IG stories. So I've got the leotard made, and it's a stretch leotard, so it'll, I'm hoping it'll be a little easier. Um, and plus, you know, now that I've made a tutu, I, I'm a little more experienced with it. So, so yeah, I got everything cut out, and the layers sewed to themselves, sewed together. And now I am on the ruffling stage, and I'm actually hoping to try doing fork pleats. Or they, I guess they call them knife pleats, but you do them with a fork. Um, and so I actually ordered a fork, a carving fork that will hopefully work, um, just to get the right width and everything. And I'm going from like the top layer, for example, is like 324 inches and I have to get it down to my waist, which is 32 inches or 31 inches, somewhere around there. And so I'm going to be having to pleat a lot and I'm thinking somewhere around a triple pleat, um, Maybe with a double pleat here or there, um, just to see how that works. So I'm excited about that, trying that out. The pleats will look a lot more neat than just ruffling manually, um, which all, my last two, two, all 10 layers are just ruffled manually. So, so yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. But that doesn't come till Wednesday, and so I've been screwed around on video games again <laughs> in the meantime. I did think about starting on the latex uh, Supergirl top for um, the cartoon Supergirl, but I just haven't done it yet. Um, and I also ordered new point shoes since I've got a couple tutus planned, uh, tutu costumes planned. Although this is le almost less of a costume and more of like a casual, um, like it wouldn't be an all day con thing, right? It's Cause it's kind of like a mashup of some sort of Supergirl with ballet, but um, but yeah, and then, uh, Huntress Creations, Aaliyah, she made me my Supergirl belt and, uh, cape attachments and then the little ornament on the front. And so hopefully that will motivate me to start making that cat suit. That's the new CW Supergirl cat suit I want to make in latex. Um, I've had this planned all year, but <laughs> this year is kind of screwed up, so... So yeah, that's what's going on. Not a whole lot of costuming lately, but slowly dipping my toe back in and uh, and then trying to find some other video games to get into in the meantime too. So um, I have been bicycling. I bought a bicycle and I've been trying to do about 10 miles a day, uh, at least like five times a week. Um, sometimes not hitting that target, but uh, unfortunately I went to, yesterday was a nice day and I, I usually ride in the morning and it's colder. Um, but since it was Sunday and we got done with everything we were going to do, I was going to ride, um, and it was in the seventies out and sunny. So I was excited, but I went down and looked at my bike and the back tire is flat. So, um, and it, it had been low on air the last two rides I was on. And so I, I'm not surprised that it's flat. So, um, in fact, that actually makes me feel better because I just felt like the last couple of rides were a lot harder. And um, even though I pumped up the, pumped up the back tire. So, so yeah, we'll see. Um, unfortunately, my, my bike shop that I like to go to is, uh, it opens on Tuesday. So I've got to wait a whole another day, find out if I can, if they're available. Um, I do have a tube that I could replace it myself, but just like they'll do it so much faster uh, and easier. 
and then I can just buy a tube from them and I'll still have my spare tube kind of ready to go. Um, so that's really the only reason I have the spares. If I, if I get a flat on the, on my ride and I need to get home, um, I'll be able to change it on the fly. So, so yeah, that's, uh, that's life in a nutshell. Works pretty, works going pretty well. I'm on the Lyft rentals team now. So, um, if you didn't know it, Lyft is, uh, actually renting cars to people now too. And I'm not just drivers, actual consumers. Um, so it's only in certain areas right now. I think we're just in San Francisco and LA, but we will be growing that over the next year or so. So if you need to rent a car, check it out. And you're in those areas. Um, everybody says it's an awesome experience and, you know, it's all done through the app. So it's, uh, you know, no, no huge long lines waiting and waiting to get a rental car kind of thing that we're all used to. So, but yeah, that's about it. So I hope you all have a good week. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.